Good morning, folks. Brad Cross here, BJC Outdoor. Hey, I'm excited about today, man. Uh, the water's kind of settled down. They had not dropped it the full winter pool yet, but they've got it consistently about two foot low. Uh, so, you know, maybe the fish have settled down, you know, in, a, in certain areas. But uh, we're going to drag drag some planter boards today. I, I brought two rods. Uh, that's all I brought, so that's all I'm fishing. Uh, I got some new setups here. I, I hadn't. Hadn't used these much. Uh, these are mainly for my bank fishing. Uh, these are uh, Pisky Fun. Uh, they're 50 series reel. And uh, this is a Vexen seven foot medium heavy rod. And I got it rigged the same way with a fire water dragon weight. And got a little rattle on it. Got a 10 off circle hook. Uh, Y'all seen in my last video, I made, uh, made my own dragon weights. Well, these are two ounces, uh, and then this shallow water, you know, 15 foot or less, I'll use the, the, the lighter weight. Uh, mine that I made, you know, they're three, three and a half ounces, and that's a little heavy for this shallow water. But uh, we're gonna get these things out. We're using a skipjack today. I'm gonna put a head on one and a centerpiece on the other, and we're gonna drag down through here and see what we can catch. So y'all stay tuned, let's see what we can do. We're down here on Winter Lake again today. Uh, it's one of my favorite lakes to fish. It's also one of the windiest. Uh, you get this wind blowing down the river, up the river, across the river. I mean, it's pretty wide right here. It gets rough. Uh, you know, I'm trying to try to deal with it today. Uh, it's supposed to be coming from across the river out of the south, southwest. And uh, of course, that's not the way it is. It's blowing straight down the river out of the east. Hopefully, it'll, it'll change here in a little while. I had to throw out my uh, drift socks out the back just to slow me down some of the wind. The wind's pushing me around. The trolling motor's, you know, uh, trying to keep the boat straight, but I was getting too fast. I was getting, you know, up there around 1.5. So I throw them out. May have to do like I did the last time I was out here in the same scenario. Uh, may just have to let the drift sock do the work. Let the wind blow me down river and, and hopefully they slow me down enough where we can get some bites. Yeah, one over here, folks. Feels like a pretty decent fish. We started peeling drag. It's hard to tell moving so fast. Them drift socks to save your day. I don't think I ever would have got that bite if I hadn't slowed myself down. Yeah, that's a great fish right there to start with for sure. folks. Nice blue kit start today right there. He's a mean rascal too. He bit the far out of my thumb. Well let's get him back. See if we can get us another one.
That didn't take long at all, folks. Had to throw out them drift socks to slow us down, but as soon as I got them out, we got straightened out, man. He, he slammed it. So, them old vexing rods are pretty tough, man. They can handle that. And I know the Pisky Fun reels will be fine. Uh, it don't take no high dollar equipment to do this. I mean, you can go buy a combo at Walmart and do it. As long as you got good line uh, and, and a good drag system, you can land, you know, any fish I can land on these or my other rigs. My other ones, my B&Ms and my Abby Garcia's, you know, they're a little heavier, a uh, little, little stouter rod. Ain't nothing like my B&Ms. You know, I love my B&Ms, man. Them things, they're, they're bulletproof. Uh, they're work horses, horses and with them Abby Garcia's drills, you can't, you can't beat them. Uh, but like I said, these, these rods here, they're, they're from my bank fishing. I'm gonna do some bank videos. Uh, later in the in the year when it gets cold and like you know days we get a lot of rough north northwest winds coming up the river in the winter time and the days that i can't come out here and fish out of the boat you know i'll do some bank fishing but uh i didn't want to use my b and m for, for that because uh, they're a little heavier a little hard harder to carry around you don't always get you know get to pick the the days on the best weather you know for you to come out here and fish like this you gotta do the best you can do with conditions that's thrown at you but uh, you know we got a major cold front coming in this weekend i mean it's not going to get that cold but for this time of year it's a major one it's our first real cold front of the fall uh wind chill is supposed to be down in the 30s uh two days from now and uh you know this wind right here uh it's fishable it's aggravating but tomorrow the wind's supposed to be 25 to 30 Saturday and Sunday is supposed to be 25, 30 blowing up the river, and it, you cannot fish out here then. I mean, the river is just, it's just too dangerous, and you can't, you have no control at all. Uh, you got the current, the current blowing, uh, you know, wind blowing against the current, you just don't have any boat control. So you kind of got to take what days you got, you know, make the best of them. Uh, and this, this was the best day of the of the whole weekend to, to be able to fish, because uh, I won't be able to come out here on the other, the other three days. Uh, started off good anyway. Maybe we'll end up catching that big one today. You know, it's overcast skies. You never know. Now, if the sun was out beaming down this rough water like this, I mean, it's very unpredictable. With this overcast sky, these, these fish should be out roaming. Uh, so that's what I'm banking on. But we're going to give it our best, that's for sure. It's a whole lot easier dealing with two rods, especially when you're dragging planter boards, because uh, you're going to get hung eventually. Uh, you know, when you get hung up, uh, just for instance, if you get hung up on this rod, you can make that complete circle and go back and get it and never have to take this rod in. So you don't have to pull everything in. If you got four, five, six rods out planter boards on them, or even just dragging them, you're gonna have to roll everything up, go back and get that one bait. Uh, but with two out, you don't. You just, you know, pick that other one up real slack up and just drag that other one around when you make your circle. Uh, saves you a bunch of time, because you know, fishing with planter boards, it does take time. Uh, and you know even if you're just dragging them on the bottom with no planter board you still got to reel everything in so it just saves you a bunch of time just just using two two reels and you know uh and like i've been fishing you know i've been throwing two out the back dragging and then two on the outside of the planter board the two of the planter boards is the only ones that's really getting any bite so you know i didn't see any sense in, in trying to fish with any more but it does simplify it, just having two no, right here folks It may have pulled off. Good fish too. Yeah, it pulled off. Good fish. Don't know 
how. No reason for it. Hook's, hook, hook's in a good place. I guess all fish ain't meant to be caught. <laughs> That was a good fish too, man. He had that rod stuck straight out. Uh, a lot of times they'll grab a host of that bait in their mouth, shut their mouth and take off. And you know, they hold it so tight that the hook never comes out and get, gets inside the jaw. Uh, and I think that's what happened on that deal. That fish just grabbed it out of progression and it just, you know, the hook never did come out of the skipjack. And when it felt that hook in there, I guess it just opened up its mouth and it popped out. So. You don't get them all, that's for sure. That fish hit way back there. And come back, got it. I guess it's the same one. I can't really say. Sure. It don't feel like a big fish. They'll fool you though. He's swimming. He's swimming to the boat. Oh, he's a nice fish. He wasn't done yet. Oh, mate. Man, that rat's was fat. talking about a fat fish right there that is one that's been feeding up for the winter right there that's what they do they get big and fat quick in the fall eating all these shad that we fishing around well let me get him back see if we can get us another one i'll tell you folks it ain't nothing like this time of year when they start transitioning Oh, the fish are active. Oh, I had to put a glove on, man. I picked that one up, and that song gun about broke my finger. He clamped down on my finger and then flopped, and I couldn't hold on to him. But uh, they're so aggressive this time of year, uh, and the quality, you know, just keeps getting better and better and better. The colder it gets, the better it gets. You know, then you get into that cold, cold winter months when, you know, fishing is going to slow down. Then that's when you can, you know, sit up on some deep water out in the main river channel and stuff like that. But, man, when you can, when you can drag, Planter boards like this up, you know, anywhere from 10 out to that fish there come out of 22 foot of water. I mean, you know, I'm just kind of zigzagging around here. I'm, I'm at the mercy of the wind, so I'm not staying in 10 foot, 15 foot, whatever. I'm just kind of zigzagging with the wind. I got my trolling motor helping to try to keep me straight. You just don't never know when, uh, when you're going to get into that big, big, big fish. Uh, that's quality. I'll take that all day long right there. Uh, but, you know, there, there are some... There are some monsters out here, and, and uh, we're eventually gonna get into one. These clips on these planter boards, I do not like them. You know, some of y'all may use them and like them. Uh, I ordered me some Scots, they're just a pinch on tight. These right here, I just feel like they're gonna cost me a big fish someday. Uh, they already have, but uh, you know, when the quality of fish you know, it is like it is, and like it's gonna get, I don't wanna take a chance. But next time y'all see me, them won't be on there. Now the planter boards are great, the big cat, I love them, but I just don't like that clip. It's just not my thing. Some people that use them all the time may be used to them, but I don't like them. I want it to let go of my line when the fish is on. Just trying to unsnap that while the fish is fighting, and then you get slack in your line, it can cause you to lose a fish. I caught one on a skipjack head and one on a uh, body piece, so that's a good thing, because I thought we was going to have to fish with heads, and that can cost you a lot of bait, because sometimes they want that head, they won't hit that body. But usually if they're active like they are, seem to be this morning, uh, they'll hit either one, so that's a good thing. We got one on the body and one on the head, so that'll save us some bait. Man. 
That was a big fish, fish right there, folks. He was peeling drag. So, you have that happen on them heads a lot. You know, the same thing happened over here earlier. You know, they grabbed that bait. You know, that, that hook hooked through that lip. I took it out, put it through the body part. I didn't lose the, I didn't lose the bait. Uh, them heads have cost you some fish, man. But they, to me, they're the best part of the skipjack. But they will cost you some fish. Folks, I do apologize. My battery died on my camera <clears throat> while I was trying to fight that fish. And, you know, fish that caliber, you can't stop and try to, you know, put a battery in. But I did, I got him in the net, and then I stopped so y'all could at least see me get him in the boat. He ain't a monster, but he's, he's a good fish, just like the other one. Uh, quality's here, man. I'm tickled to death. Another little fat rascal there. I'm telling you folks, these fish, <laughs> these fish are feeding up for the winter. That joker there's got a good, look like a pot belly pig. They stout too, man, from that side. That's why I got this glove on. They done about broke my thumb. This one here done the same thing. But let's get him back, man. See if we can get another one. Big old piece of bait right there, folks. That's what they eat. You know, fish and animals and stuff like that, that that live out in the elements. You know, they're pretty smart. I mean, these fish know there's a cold front coming this weekend. They know the bait's gonna gonna scatter. You know, because they get cold, it's gonna drop the temperature on the surface pretty good. So they know to feed up. And you can see the difference in the fish I'm catching here now and the fish that I caught here, you know, a week or two ago. Uh, the big ones are moving up, and it ain't just here. It's all over the river. Anywhere you've got shed on a flat, you know, 10 to 20 foot of water, even out 25, but they'll eventually all get up shallow. Uh, you're going to have fish moving up and getting ready for this, you know, for winter. So uh, their feet, they'll feed up heavy and get fat because, you know, in the wintertime, they don't eat a lot. Hey, folks. I ain't used to these little short handles on these, these vexing rods, man. My b and has got a little longer handle. Another good feed. Nothing but quality today, folks. I've been telling y'all when this weather cools off, getting this a good fish. Now these ain't monster fish, but they're good fish. That's the kind of fish that just lets you know there's better things to come. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Another little fatty. <laughs> hey, this, 
these things they're mean man this water's cooling off and they're getting mad about it well let's get him back see if we can get us another one telling y'all about you know his fish being on his muscles that's some kind of shells out here that fish spit that up so that's the kind of stuff catfish eat if you, if you find an area that's got shells in it muscles any hard shell uh, stuff like that man and catfish they're gonna be on it and especially for bait around if you find bait around stuff like that right now you're gonna catch fish That's what caused you to look at fish, folks. That wind hits that thing, starts blowing. I think he's still on there, but he's swimming toward me. Got lucky on that one. He ain't no real big fish. Still a good little fish though. If it had been a big one, it probably would have come off because you start getting slack in that line. That big fish will stay on. Folks, that's a, that's a skinny little rascal right there. I feel sorry for him after catching them other ones. If I could get him, if I could get him to hold on to a bait, I'd give him a piece just to try to help him get back on his feet. Poor little fella. Look how big his head is, little back right there. Man. Well, let's get him back. Maybe he'll find something to eat. He got him a piece of skipjack for the day anyway. All right, folks, we're gonna get out of here. The wind's gonna get up so bad, I can't hardly stay out here and fish the area. Well, I can't stay out there and fish the area I wanna fish, so we try to drift this bluff line. You can see how fast I'm moving. The baits ain't even touching the bottom hardly. Uh, but anyway, uh, we had a good morning. Caught some good quality fish this morning. Glad to see that they're moving up. Uh, lost two big ones, you know, they come off. Didn't even have a chance for them. But uh, anyway, uh, I appreciate each and every one of you watching the video. And I want to say thanks to all my subscribers. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. We'd love to have you on the team. Uh, y'all stay tuned for the next video. See y'all then. God bless you.